So we're, we're living in a time and age where if, you're, if your nature is more free-spirited, you're just more free-spirited by nature. You somehow don't, you don't take in and absorb all this heavy stuff and trauma that the average collective society is worried about all the time. You just somehow, you don't take it serious. And even when you're in school, even kindergarten, somehow you just want to have fun. Can we just have fun? Like, why do I get to read this stupid book? It doesn't, like, I don't want to read it. Like, I don't want to read it, teacher. Uh-oh, you got ADD. You should go to the doctor. Here, take this pill. It's going to help you, like, read this book that you don't want to read. Uh, you sure? Yep, I'm a doctor. All right. Dad, I don't want to read Take the pill, damn it. Okay. Then you go from getting in trouble. <laughs> You're getting in trouble before for being too hyper. Now you're getting in trouble for sleeping in class. Then they'll give you a pill to make you more hyper. They're giving you a pill to make you tired. And now they're going to give you another pill to make you hyper. <laughs> you see what happened? This happens. They hand pills out like candy. The same way like a judge hands out time like it's candy. I went to court before. I don't know why I was even in that courtroom. I was in for like driving on a suspended license or something. I, but I was in there with other inmates who were getting sentenced they had like sexual battery charges and attempted murder and grand theft auto and the judges were just handing out time like nothing i'm like they're like 20 years okay 30 years uh you, you're gonna get life bro and then judge would just go to the next case it's like do you realize this is like an individual living being like you just took his whole life like you took his whole life yeah, this, uh, <laughs> I'm glad this planet's not my home. I enjoy, but it's not my home. <laughs> I don't know how, I do know how, but I'm just saying, I don't know, some people, they're super obsessed with wanting to like stay on this planet as long as they can. Science, can you like find a way to keep me here longer? I'm like, uh, there's so many more heavenly realms with more heavenly subtle bodies to exist on than this gross planet with this heavy gross body. But if somehow that dormant knowledge that's inside everyone, if that hasn't awoken, then we get scared. We're like, no, we have to stay here. This is all there is. And then some people ask me questions. Well, how do you know though for sure? It's like, come on, man. How, how am I gonna, how do you transfer that? We can't prove anything anyway, let alone like, how can I prove there's, <laughs> there's existence after this existence? All right. If you're living in a society that's like <clears throat> super tight and controlled and you're more free spirited, have you found out society doesn't really like you? They want to control you and have you like boxed in, and act right, don't make noise, nice let's be real nice hello teacher hi Donnie <laughs> but if you're like throwing you know stuff at your friend then, then you're gonna get in trouble and then if you don't like the subjects that you're studying look if, if if some people if you like the subjects that you're studying that's cool like enjoy it enjoy I never liked history and science or anything really I liked math because I was good at it and I liked in second grade we played around the world and so the kids all sit in a circle one person stands up stands behind the kids sitting down the teacher holds the flashcard up four times four 16 and then if, if, if I'm standing up and I got it right, I, I go to the next kid and we battle like that. That's fun. I like that. I was really good at that. I didn't like algebra and geometry. I mean, it's like, it's too much. <clears throat> but nowadays, if you're creative and free-spirited by nature, yeah, they're gonna wanna give you pills. Why? Because the collective majority are not free-spirited by nature. So the collective majority rules 
on some level. So if you're not like that, then the doctor has to help you get like that, basically. And then a lot of these kids and or, or people, it doesn't have to be kids, you, they just end up doing drugs or getting high or drinking or because it's like, subconsciously they just feel like I'm not in the right place I'm, I'm like on the wrong planet here you know so what do you do well then you end up getting suppressed you get repressed and suppressed because you like can't be yourself so all this energy inside that can't get expressed it starts eating you up then you end up with some disease or, or, or something or do something crazy in society or you join MMA, those guys, you imagine if they didn't have MMA, what are these guys gonna do? They'd probably be locked up. So God's like, all right, there's no war to fight right now. Here, we'll give you MMA. And they go in there and try to kill each other. But at least it's an outlet, it's an expression of, of this energy that they can't normally express in society because it's like everything's so tight and locked down. All the more reason to get more in touch with your intuition because it's guiding you. It might have you leave the West. When I say West, I mean America, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, Europe, for the most part. It might have you leave there and go somewhere like South America or Asia instead. Because, <laughs> yeah, there's not many rules around here. Sometimes you gotta handle things uh, vigilante style, which I'd prefer actually over having, you know, a helicopter come try to arrest me because I'm like taking a piss out in the woods. No, that's your decent exposure. Yeah, but there's nobody around. I see you. So maybe intuition will have you leave or maybe intuition will give you some form, some creative outlet to express this energy. Most who are like this, you can say the indigo kids, there's all these labels. They're gonna suffer for a while though. Because um, unless you have really high level parents and you're in one of these high level schools, I forgot the name again, where they actually help you uh, embellish on what comes natural to you. They don't tell you you have ADD because you're not interested in reading things that, that don't make any sense to you or that you're not interested in. And they don't tell you <laughs> that you have social anxiety if you don't want to like talk to your peers because your peers are like all robots you see at some point God gives you a guide and straightens all that out he says look there's nothing wrong with you in fact there's everything right with you we got to go through the grind a little bit though to get to where we can get that <clears throat> this direction but you'll you we got to trust God it's, it's gonna give it to you somehow via a live person via a book via a video something but you can't lose trust in this inner feeling that's telling you you're okay this is this is the challenge this is this is why the people have to go through that actually this is the challenge can you remember yourself in the midst of super like opposing circumstances can you still are you still in touch with this inner voice that's saying, look, you're all right, I got you. Doesn't matter if most of the world don't get you, it's you and me. This is the challenge, not to lose touch with that because like the world's gonna test the hell out of you. Even in the spiritual circles, that, that might be even worse. The airy fairies, you're like, damn, I'm not acting airy fairy. Maybe I'm not spiritual, you know? <clears throat> The real individuals, yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. But this is the most oppor biggest opportunity to really be liberated <coughs> when you can pass through that. There's three levels, you can say, in spiritual evolution. You have collective level, like just the zombies that are all acting from conditioning. There's no sense of awareness of, of any individual inner sanction. That's one level. Next level, um, individual level you're aware of your own individual karma and gifts and limitations your own individual expression you're individual see next level transpersonal you've transcended both the collective and the individual and you realize wait a minute 
then you can you can talk a little non-dual oak stuff if you want. You say, look, actually, uh, I'm formless, <laughs> and this character is uh, <clears throat> something the formless is playing in and playing through. That realization. But see, a lot of people try to skip. They go from collective to transpersonal. They're gonna. They want to skip the individual. They don't want to. That's where all the work is. This is where all the challenge and suffering is. So the ego's like, can we like just skip that? Yeah. So where are you at? Do the check, intra check. See you.